The ad you're seeing in front of you right now was entirely made by AI. But the most impressive part about this is that I only had to use one single image to make this. Every shot you're seeing has the character and the product staying perfectly consistent. And the way I did this is actually surprisingly simple. Thanks to the tool I'm about to show you, you can create a complete AI UGC ad in under five minutes, all from one photo and a short prompt. So in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how it works. And by the end, you'll know how to turn one photo into a full realistic AI ad that looks like it was shot in a real studio. To make our AI UGC ad from one single image, we first need to actually have that image. The best way I've found to do this is by using Google's image generator called Nano Banana. A lot of people think of it only as an AI image editing tool, but it's actually really good at creating images even when you don't have any reference photos at all. And that's what makes this process so much easier. You don't need to find models, scout locations, or film anything yourself. You can start building an ad in just seconds. It's also fully free, which is another reason why we're using it. You can access it by searching up Google AI Studio. Once you see it, just click on chat and then select Nano Banana. That's all you need to do to start using it. What's really nice about Nano Banana is that most of the time you don't need to write any complicated prompts. That's great because it keeps things fast. You can keep it simple like this, a realistic close up front shot of an influencer woman standing on a street. She looks directly into the camera without having her phone in her hands. The image that comes out already looks really good. You can adjust it however you want, ask it to zoom in the camera, make the person stand a certain way, or change some small details. But for now, this is perfect for what we need. Next, we want the person in the image to hold the product we're promoting. I've got this picture here of an Arizona tea can, so I'm just gonna upload it and tell the AI to make the person hold the can in a natural way with lighting and reflections of the can matching the lighting of the scene. When I hit send, the result looks really good. Now, since the tool we're using to turn this into a video lets us use both a start frame and an end frame, I started by creating a start frame of the woman walking naturally down the street holding the Arizona tea can. Then I made an end frame where she's sitting on the ground with the same lighting and background. You might notice there's a watermark in the bottom right corner and that usually scares people off. There are two easy ways to fix it. You can remove the watermark with a tool or just ask the AI to zoom out a little. If you zoom out, it keeps your image the same and you can just crop out the watermark. And from here, we'll move on to the tool we're using to actually make the ad. The tool is called Arcads. And honestly, it's the best AI ad platform I've ever used. It works for everything, UGC style ads, normal ads, and it has all the tools you would ever need built in. Once you log into Arcads, click on new project. You'll see a blank window appear. I'll quickly go through the main parts. So first you have the talking actors feature. This lets you pick an actor from a huge library and just paste in your script to get a full video. Then there's a really cool feature called unboxing POV. This one lets you recreate a realistic unboxing of any product you want, which looks super natural and works great for product style ads. Next, you've got gestures. This lets you take those same actors from the library and make them perform different gestures, adding more realism and movement to your videos. And finally, there's the video option. That's the one we're using right now. So I'll click that and as you can see, there are a bunch of models to choose from. The one I'm using here is Google VO 3.1. When you click it, the interface changes a bit. I'm also gonna switch the format to nine by 16 because that fits really well for short form platforms. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload both our starting and ending frames. For the prompt, I'm just gonna write, the woman slowly walks as she's talking about how good the Arizona tea is and how it's the absolute best drink you can find. I'm keeping the prompt really simple here because I want the main focus to be on what she's actually saying. Because the AI has both the starting and ending frames, it understands how the movement should flow. So I'll just click generate. And as you can see, this is the result we get back. I wanna talk about how good Arizona green tea is. It is the absolute best drink you can find. It looks super realistic from the way her arms and hair move to how naturally she talks about the product. It actually looks like a regular TikTok travel video and that's exactly what we want. But we can take it even further by adding actions like having her actually drink the tea or make other gestures. That's exactly what we're going to do next. Now we just need to add the action. So I'll write, make her take a drink from the Arizona tea. And we get back an image of her actually drinking it. This new image will be our next end frame. 
So I'll download it, head back into Arcads, and set a new starting frame, which in this case is the previous video's end frame. By doing that, we create a seamless cut between the two videos. It makes everything look consistent and realistic, and it means you can chain scenes together to make your ads as long as you want. Before, you were pretty limited by what other tools could do, but Arcads gives you full control. That's one of the main reasons I really like using it. So now, I'll keep things simple again for the next prompt. I'll write, make the woman talk more about how she likes to drink it, and how you can find it anywhere in the world, like on some random European street. Then at the end, make her take another sip. I'll click generate, and this one, in my opinion, came out even better. I just love drinking this, especially when I'm wandering around a new city. You can find it anywhere, even on some random European street. Her voice is really clear. That's another reason I like Google VO 3.1. It's great at generating realistic voice lines, and you can also see how fluent and natural her movements are, even down to the facial expressions. It all comes together and makes it feel like a genuinely realistic ad for the drink. But now, let me show you how to make a super realistic promo video in the get ready with me style. I'm using this eyelash curler that I found online for the example, and now I'm taking it over to Nano Banana. What I'll do first is make my influencer hold just the box of the eyelash curler. I found an image of the box, so I'll insert both images, my character as the first one, and the product box as the second one. Then I'll paste in my prompt. You can see it looks great, a really realistic shot of her holding the box. I'll download this one. For this specific video, I don't actually have an end frame in mind because I just want the video to end off naturally. So I'll take this image, head over to Arcads, and upload it as my starting frame. I'll leave the end frame blank. For the prompt, I'll write, the woman shows off and explains that today, She's gonna do her makeup routine using the eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. She never takes it out of the box, she just casually talks about it while holding the box in her hand. The reason I mention that she shouldn't take it out of the box is because sometimes the AI interprets that too literally and makes her suddenly have it in her hand out of nowhere, which looks weird and completely breaks the realism. Okay, so for today's makeup routine, I'm finally trying the new eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. I am obsessed with this packaging. Look how cute it is. As you can see, the result came out looking incredible. I really like how she naturally holds the camera. It's got that slight wobble, like she's actually holding it in her hand. To actually reveal our product, we're going to go back to Nano Banana and insert the image of the influencer again and the image of the actual eyelash curler and then again, I'll paste in my prompt. And now we've got an image of her actually holding it. For this section, I want it to sound more like she's explaining the product and highlighting what makes the eyelash curler great. So for the next prompt, I'll write, the woman is casually explaining how the eyelash curler looks and feels in her hand. She mentions that it's very comfortable and sits nicely. She holds the eyelash curler still in her hand without moving it or changing its position. It's very comfortable and sits nicely in the hand. The feel is great, exactly what I was looking for. And again, the results look really good. You can already tell how natural this is going to look since none of the clips have an end frame. It really feels like she pauses to unbox it, then comes back to reveal it in her hand. Now for the last step, we're making the CTA video where her makeup's fully done. So I'll go back to Nano Banana and I'll write, make the woman appear with full natural makeup. I add the word natural, so it doesn't give that heavy, overdone makeup look that can make the image look fake. Once that's done, I'll download the image and head back to Arcads. For the prompt, I'll write something like, make the woman show off her finished makeup and say that it's all thanks to the eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. Tell viewers they should go try it out by buying it through the link in the description. Then I'll hit generate and we'll take a look. It's all thanks to the eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. Go try it out by buying it through the link in the description. As you can see, this video came out really well. Now I'll just take all of those parts and edit them together so you can see the full final result. So for today's makeup routine, I'm finally trying the new eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. I am obsessed with this package look how cute it is. It's very comfortable and sits nicely in the hand. The feel is great, exactly what I was looking for. It's all thanks to the eyelash curler from Poco Beauty. Go try it out by buying it through the link in the description. You can see how adding a simple get ready with me text and some light background music that matches that vibe really helps sell the realism. The final result where she's fully done with her makeup is really good. There are a few small things I could have changed, like adding more background variation or slightly tweaking the makeup items on the table. Overall, it looks super natural, and I definitely suggest experimenting with it on your own. Now you know how to make a super realistic AIU GC ad using just one image, and now you can literally build out full ad campaigns without needing to find the perfect person online 
doing product shoots or hiring anyone. All you really need is one image and a bit of creativity. From there, you can make entire ad sequences that look and feel completely real. And that's what makes Arcad so powerful. It takes everything you've just seen and brings it together into one simple workflow that lets you go from a still image to a fully finished AI UGC video ad in just minutes. If you want to make super realistic AI ads like these, go sign up for Arcads using the link down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.